Good morning everyone. I hope you had a wonderful Sunday. Today is Medieval Mirage Monday and we are going to start working on some covers for two Medieval Mirage journals, which is ambitious of me. Um, I chose these lovely covers. They, they've had some repairs. I'm going to take that sticky tape off because we're going to cover that up. And two the same. So all I've done is I took out this this curvy spine bit because I want it to be flat and I will be stitching. I've been thinking about it, stitching my signatures into this, but um, the reason why there's paper clips is I just glued this down and that was resisting its parchment and um, and I thought I'd just leave it on there, but yeah, it was resisting. So I've just um, glued it down. Now what I want to do is take, this is just a, um, it's a strong packing tape, paper packing tape. And I'm just going to use this to, look at the beautiful end papers, reinforce the spine. I think I'll glue, put a glue it, stick it on the outside as well because I'm going to be covering up those the spines. So today we'll work on the covers. Next week we'll do our pages, I think. And then we can see how we're going. I don't, I don't think I have enough stuff for two. Um, I'll do three signatures. I have probably have enough pockets, but I might not have. I won't have enough um, ephemera, but that's okay. We'll start putting stuff in, and then we can see what needs to happen. So I'm just going to grab my. all of that down then I'm going to put fabric over that as well it's going to be a nice soft spine so I'm going to cover that because it's not floating my boat but the cover is the covers are beautiful This is just extra, then we're gluing fabric over the top. But I won't be gluing any fabric, actually. Oh, yeah, I won't be gluing. I think I'm going to stitch my signatures straight into here. So there'll be no um, fabric, but we'll plan. But we won't glue anything down, is what we'll do. Okay, so that's good. That's nice and strong now. And it's going to be kind of like a soft cover because it doesn't have any cardboard in. Um, this had these papers. Um, if you, let me see here. Hmm. I think it's very early 1900s, these books. Just from the graphics so we'll just put that up there and we'll do this one I hope everybody is well it's Easter Monday for us who celebrate Easter we're going to our friend's house oh yes and I'm still alive so we didn't have um, mushrooms we had um, I've told you about them before we had this pasta called needy dirondene which means little um, sparrows nests and basically it's a thin they make the fresh pasta it's thin a very thin one and then they um, just quickly put it in the boiling water and then they pull it out and they've got to be careful not to break it then they lay out um, bechamel parmesan I think and prosciutto roll it up and then cut it so you get round ones about that high and round like that and then they put them in a baking tray and top them with um, or just tomato or ragu on top and a bit more bechamel and parmesan and then you bake it in the oven super nice in fact i don't normally eat too much pasta but i had i had it yesterday because it was good and then we had lamb okay so that's that This is just extra reinforcement.
Okay, so that's done. And now we need to choose an inside fabric. We don't need the tape anymore. And we've done this a million times before, but we'll do it again because it's always good to recap. Um, so on one of them, I think this will go on the other one. It's slightly narrower. Um, on the exterior of this one, I was thinking maybe this linen here. Let's see. No, I think maybe, I think I like that part there. So let's just, yeah, fold this over. I'm going to need it quite wide because it's a deep spine. This is how I cut. Okay. And I'm going to trim this off. Actually, let's do this the height of it first. So the height will be just have it slightly hanging over there. A nice piece I can use on something. And then this. Now I've got to remember I'm not gluing because I am glue happy and I will put the glue on there and I'm not ready for it. Might trim just a little bit more off. Okay, so that's that one. I love that. Keep that silly me, keep that little piece there. Now, this one I was thinking this will go. I'm just checking that it doesn't have a up or down. I've got the pattern there and there, so I'll keep that and cut that. Off. Now this has, it's silk, see that silk threads, so if they're sticking out and they're bothersome, you just trim them off. Oh, wrong scissors. So that will go there, that's going to be good. And now we need to do, I can glue the inside in. So I was thinking this, but that one makes it very hard to um, <clears throat> put my markings. I do really like it though, but I don't think I'll put that one inside um, just because I need to put my markings. So let me just see what else. No, not blue. I was thinking blue, but not blue. That's not going to be tall enough. They have this. I think that's it's a bit. I think I might like it to have a bit more of something on it. I do like that. That's a very old linen, no hemp check, and it's um it on that line it it uh, date I think it's very early 1900s or late 1800s this one so one of them is going to have that I think I might pref like this one with that and do you think I'm going to throw those bits out no I'm not I'll chuck that up there too I think I can put those that one with that one and Everything's too short. Oh, that's going to make... This is what I like on this one. So what I'm going to do here is... 
just rip there and there and have the stripes. So we'll glue these in. So to measure, I put my piece of fabric above, up here, as you know, and then I run my glue down there and down there so I know how far to spread it out. It's just going to cover the tape, which is what I wanted. And I didn't want to cover too much of those lovely inside pages. Then I smoosh it around with my finger. You can use a brush if you don't want if you don't want to get it on your finger. However, this um, you don't you do need to spread it out because we're putting it on and that on a rather thin fabric, um, and we don't want it oozing. And I really enjoy doing it like this. It's so nice and smooth and flowy. And PBA is a non-toxic glue, which is good. It's school grade, it's for kids. In fact, you can buy it at the stationery section in the in our supermarket next to all the kids' crayons and stuff like that. I'm just going to start from the center and push it out so try and avoid getting creases and I can feel the glue coming through but you can't really see it and it doesn't matter if a bit comes through because it will dry and it will be fine but you just don't want too much oozing out okay put that one aside Oh, I might have cut this too narrow. No, I didn't. Oh, lucky. Lucky. This, pat this pattern does not have an up. I was thinking I need to flip it around. Someone's done some writing there, which I thought I would leave. Okay, let's see how we go. And I'll use a, a biro when I'm marking my for my signatures on here. And I'll be a black biro and I'll be able to see that. It's a bonus not having to decorate the in, the inside covers because they're already lovely. I'll just put my, you know, the this book belong my book plate on there, and then they'll be good to go. Just wipe off any glue that you can see beyond the fabric. Okay. Now, we need to decide what's going to happen on the cover. So I'm going to have this, I said. Is that the right way up? Yeah. But I would like a little bit of something else, so a little bit of lace or something like that. So let's just see. Make those decisions now, and then afterwards I can... No. Afterwards I can... Um, glue them when we when we do the signatures next week I just love that I think I might put that cut three I know I've got the wrong scissors here and I might um, grab a ticking or something like that I 
I have this. No. Yeah, I think I need a piece of ticking. Surprise, surprise. It's just going to keep it simple. I'll probably have that there and that there, and that will be my cover. Let's have a look. Yep. I wonder if I'll have that. I think I'll have that going over the edge, possibly. So that's one. So that's decided. And then I can put these back in here because they belong to that book. I don't know whether I'll use all of them or some of them. And I'm going to put that aside to dry. And then we could do this one. So this one. Is going to have this here isn't that pretty I don't normally sometimes I do but not often do I like to have um, the lace going all the way down now the other one came together quickly I probably won't be able to decide what I like on this one isn't that pretty I don't want to also cover the flower. So I have been, I did tidy up, so I've got all these laces sort of sorted. I could have it down there. Nope. This one is not going to happen so quickly. So I'm not going to do that, but I could take one. Where's the scissors? quite like that too let's just cut that I don't mind cutting bits off because I know that I will use them so I could have that there I think I like that. Yes, that's what I'm going to put on that one. I might decide then to come and put a stamped, you know, bird or something like that, but I'll decide that afterwards. So that is my video for today. We've just started working on the covers. I'm not gluing this down yet because I want to um, stitch in my signatures, which we will put together next week because, um, yeah, I'm a bit strapped for time today, but I just wanted to pop in and and um, get those done love the inside so let's pop that in there like that and these and next week we will look at putting in some pages so thank you so much for watching i hope you have a wonderful uh, easter monday and i will see you again tomorrow bye